Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello. Going around the window sometimes causes a mysterious mismatch underneath the window. If you've been hanging paper, or even if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you've realized this very strange phenomenon. With that in mind, we're going to try to identify why does this happen? Because it has happened to me. I have several videos on wallpapering around a window. In the process, I'm going to show you a couple of things I've picked up along the way. For example, cutting this piece above the trim, it's a very simple thing. And you take a long blade and you simply use the woodwork as the guide against which you slide your blade. Keeping in mind the end, because if you go too far, you cut too much. Can you bring them in close? I'm making a little mark. If you have a pencil, it would be good to do it with that. But I made a stress mark on the wallpaper on the waste side of it. So can they see this? Can you zoom in? Mm. When I get to the end, I cut it like almost I'm cutting meat back and forth. Now watch what happens. Let me bring them up here. Just put the ca camera off and then. All right, well, see, oh, good thing I caught that. If you let it drop, it'll tear. See that? Nice, precise cut right to the edge. Okay, let me turn the camera over. Now you, you do the same thing with this cut. When I learned this trick from veteran wallpaper hanger, Larry Duvall, sat down a few months ago and Larry, this is how I do the uh, the trim behind those bathroom doors where it's really tightest. How do you how do you do it? He said simple. I use the trim as the guide. Now here's the deal. If this slides down we're in trouble. But if you had a push pin, it's an idea. Strategically locating the push pin and it'll hold your wallpaper up. I don't have one, and I'm disinclined to use them, but you could do it. You could do it. I gotta keep my eye on it, because it will tear the wallpaper. All right, nice and easy. Now watch this. Now my wallpaper's doubled up here. I'm gonna take the weight off of it by holding this down. Oh, man. Oh, it's coming. It's coming? Here's the only other way to remedy this. No problem. No problem. Take the weight right off of it. There we go. No big deal. I just didn't want to do it. Okay. It's always good to have a helper. But, if you don't get along with your helper, hanging wallpaper is not the project to uh, test out your relationship, if you know what I mean. Honey, let's hang wallpaper together, baby. 
we haven't been getting along that well lately. Not the best idea. Is this your room? Yeah, good. Oh, I'm gonna go outside and see what you're doing. Now, I like to go up and down with the blade. Just to feel my trim. You know, I don't trust my hand. When you hit 40, you know, you, I don't trust my, my hands. Imagine when I hit 50. Getting this right is, is important for getting the wallpaper correct around the window. Right? So, feel your woodwork. Right. Okay. The Brits are saying he should have a pair of shears. Yes, you're correct. Now, rule number one, get your level out and make sure your pattern. This is very tricky. Whenever you're cutting around a corner, your wallpaper hinges. It goes like this. In other words, watch this and then you'll understand. See this? Does everybody see this movement? If you should cut your wallpaper here, you're gonna be off. Okay, you see, you, I, when I say hinge, Think about this, and the wallpaper can go up and down. Okay, that's that's a rule. Now, watch this. Rule number two. Do not cut this piece. Don't trim it. Don't trim it. You may find that you trimmed too much. Okay, so we just, we relieve the tension. That's all. Just a just to get the paper to lay down, okay? So we did that. So we're gonna cut this. Now, here's the thing. Oh, so we, we covered this issue. Now check this out. What do you think about that cut? Okay. I put my wallpaper back in, and I'm just going all up and down, nice and easy. Feel it for that trim, okay? Let me show you what I mean. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see if Larry Duvall's method proven to be perfect. Better than my original method, which is a little more time consuming, which is the way you do it. Put the wallpaper up, put this in there. But uh, we live and learn, right? Okay. So now, So that's the 
that's one thing. So now we're going to hang our adjacent sheet and we're going to talk about the phenomenon of the, the bottom, the, the footer not matching up. It's all about being square. So we, in rule number two, we talked about using the level. We have to make sure that our pattern is level because your eye will deceive you. When the wallpaper can go up and down an inch imperceptibly, now you can understand why when your sheets meet, this being the edge of one and this being the other, it looks something like this. Because your wallpaper hinged on you and you didn't catch it. All right, let's go to the next segment. Okay. Another indicator that you should have a nice matchup is you look at the other window and you see the pattern underneath the window. And then you come over here and you determine, is it the same? Do I have the same reveal? Do you see in the center of your screen, that little triangle at the bottom of the trim? That's what I'm referring to as a reveal. And so if the reveal at the bottom there is the same here, it's a clue that you're on the right track. Okay. In January of 2022, I'm publishing how to stay fit and trim as a wallpaper hanger. And I'm gonna reveal all of the snacks that I consume while hanging paper. Obviously, I'm joking. Now, I will ask you this, though. For those Americans watching, what was your favorite snack when you were a kid? When I was a kid, Drake's Cakes made devil dogs. And they had Yankee Doodles. It was the same cake in cupcake form. And they were 10 cents a piece. I just looked on Amazon today, and I was going to get them, and I said, get lost, $11 for 10 of them. We grew up in a family of eight. Can you come close? Family of eight. My mother had eight children. My parents had eight children. Um, so... When the ice cream man came, it was the saddest time on the block. It was literally one of the saddest moments of the summer nights. Whoa! And the reason for that is because you wouldn't think of asking my mother for ice cream from the ice cream truck. My mother could stretch a dollar. She could buy a car with ten dollars. Anyway. Ma, can we... No! You couldn't finish the sentence. Ma, could... You think it's your birthday? Ma, could... No! She knew what the question was. Ma, it's my birthday. No! But my aunt, she had five kids. All of their kids would be sucking on ice cream in front of us. And my mother would say, it's up in the freezer. Go upstairs and get it. Like, in other words, you couldn't get ice cream from the guy, the idiot going around, ding, 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 you know, causing all the trouble. My parents hated the ice cream guy. He was like a troublemaker. My father would look at him like this. It would cause a significant problem, you know? Anyway, I forget the point. I forget the point. What was the point? Mm -hmm. 
when my mother said, no, 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 you can't have it. Oh, well, when I was a kid, they had no frills. It was probably made in some third world country. Ice cream. But it was good. But that's all we could eat. No frills. And I got used to it, you know? Black and white ice cream. No name. No frills. But my cousins were still there. Just staring at us. Sad. One time I said to my mother, can I? She goes, no. I said, how do you know what I'm going to ask? She said, the ice cream man is right over there. I know what you're going to ask. She was right, but I, I wanted to know, how do you know what I'm going to say? Because I hear the ice cream man, she said. I hear him. So, if you guys are out there and you sell ice cream, word to the wise, stop using the stupid bells. Kids will know. But that was the truth of the matter. I never had ice cream from the ice cream truck. Never. So when I hit 18, one of the first things I did was I bought ice cream from the ice cream truck. I remember the guy saying, who are you? I said, I've been living on this block 18 years. I never saw you. <laughs> Brooklyn, New York. I never saw you. Yeah. It's a long story. Anyway, I'm using the pattern as a level. If your pattern is geometric and you know, or whatever, it lines up. You can use that as a level guide or plumb guide, okay? See these lines? You see this one here? As I go down, it's equidistant from the corner. I know it's plumb. Okay. Generally speaking, right? Okay, let me get back up there. <laughs> so anyway, that was the story when I was a kid. Now, if I jokingly say I had a sad childhood, some of you people would actually believe that. And I'm just joking around. But it was, that was the truth of the matter. One time I happened to say to my mother, guess what? She had ice cream from the truck. I made the mistake of asking her, how come? I didn't finish the sentence. I said, how'd you know what I was going to say? <laughs> she said, I know what you're going to say. The ice cream man is here. She was right. Okay, can you bring them over here? Um, I have a question. Oh, thanks for asking. Can I? Yeah, I told, I'm not. I told you. Okay. Very good. Okay, folks. Now, I am not the expert. But I'm going to show you how it has worked out for me. Because I have failed at this repeatedly. The rule is you must understand to keep it plumb. Many of you out there can hang wallpaper. <laughs> you send me the email, Spencer, your videos are great. You, should, you told me how to do this. I get five accent rules. True story. One woman recently posted on my, I won't say where, because I don't want anybody else doing it. She posted on my public thing. She, she gave me a raving review and she said, look what I did. And she had paste all over it. 
And I said, oh, I hope nobody thinks I installed that, you know? If they look quick, nobody reads anything. Okay, so now let's think here. Symmetry and plumb. I'm feeling my, my, my molding here and the pattern is equidistant. So I know, when I say equidistant, I mean, can you bring them in here? You see this, vert this vertical line here? Well, it's equidistant from the edge as I go down. So it's getting a little close here. But you see what I mean? Like it doesn't run on to the trim, so that's important. Now I know I can, I can relieve some pressure here. Okay, very nice. Okay, so are we lined up over here? Before we trim over there, completely, are we lined up? And guess what? We are. So now I know I can start trimming away. Now here's what happens. You get buckled here because you rushed. You started trimming and, and this has to be taut, meaning tight. See this? You see, I don't have it all buckled here. I'm not gonna buckle up because I failed to keep it stretched out. Oh, okay. Now I can trim this piece over here. You see, if you messed up, you can bring this over because you didn't trim it yet. You can push it back and kind of, that's why I didn't want you to trim that side yet. You know what I was always amazed at when I was a kid? You know when in math class, the teacher would start with a math problem in the beginning? I was always amazed how at the end of the class, it all worked out. Like, how's he gonna do this one? I was great at math in uh, freshman, sophomore, and junior year of high school. I was just like a whiz. But my last year with, um, I didn't like the teacher. Joe Radigan, that was his name. I didn't like him. And um, I truly believe people learn better with certain teachers. A kid is self-conscious, he's nervous, he's this, he's that, whatever. I didn't like the teacher. Um, and that's not why I wasn't good at senior year math. But it, it made it worse. I didn't like them. He was too stoic. You know, he made me uncomfortable. And he was glad to get rid of me. He says, I can put you in the other class. And then we walked to the other class. He told the teacher, Spence is going to be in this class from now on for the rest of the year. There was at Bishop Ford High School in Brooklyn, New York. Sorry, Joe. I didn't like you back then. I like you now. La -dee 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 -dee. Too serious. Okay, folks, I'm almost done. So anyway, I was talking about the uh, my favorite snack. My favorite snack. Oh, I forgot my rule. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. And that's the last of it. You, now folks, if I can do this, just follow my rules. I messed this up so many times, but you don't have to because you got this video now. You won't mess this up.
You won't mess it up. Trust me when I tell you. Yuck. Okay. Let's trim it. Just find your the edge. Okay. If you rush it, you can go. See, I'm using my right shoulder. I'm, I'm using it to guide my body as I trim this thing down. We got snagged. Okay. Thanks to Larry Duval, I learned this trick. Now here's a little trick I learned myself. Going up, look, I bend the knife toward me. Check this out. As long as you got it against the trim, look at this. Can I see this close? Can you go in close? How's that? How do you like that? Isn't that cool? So guess what happened to me recently? Oh gosh. A major name brand company finally called me and they said, we're gonna send you a paint spray and a heat gun. So uh, they said, sorry, our tools haven't been to your liking. Hopefully this will do. So I'm going to test them out. Folks, that concludes the technique. It's a success. And I'll just show you how to check your work. You know when you uh, do an addition problem, so you uh, 208 plus 310 equals, and then if you take the sum, you can subtract one of those numbers you added and you should come up with whatever. We're gonna now show you how, if you're off, it's a reason why your, your uh, seams don't meet up. So I'll see you on the next frame. So the things you look for is the distance between this line and your trim. That gives you a sign, okay, that this should be straight too. As long as you don't allow the right angle right there to hinge and we spoke about that earlier also the reveal line on this side very important if this line here starts running into my window and disappears you're going to have a problem down here so you want to make sure that that reveal is there you see there's the line and there's some some pattern to the left okay and now, of course, we have our right gilded edge, right? So we match up at the bottom. And we didn't overlap and we didn't fall short. Okay. And that concludes our installation. And what is this wallpaper? This is Serena and Lily, in case you're interested. If you like the video, please click on like and subscribe to my channel.